Adding your products to HubSpot makes it easy to add more details to your deals and even allows your customers to buy products online. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to create and manage your product library inside your HubSpot portal. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. HubSpot's product library feature is available to everyone with a Sales Hub professional or enterprise subscription. It's a pretty simple feature, but it has a lot of really cool capabilities. So let's dive in and take a look. So here we're looking at our product library inside of our HubSpot portal. To get here, you just go to the settings icon here, scroll down in the menu on the left, expand objects and click on products. And then it's gonna take you to the product library. You can see we've already got a few in here. You can organize these by creating and managing folders or you can just have a list of your products in here. I'm gonna walk you through how you can add a single product here. So click on the create product button and it's gonna pop open a form just like adding any other record to HubSpot. So it's gonna ask for the name, we'll just call it product one. You can have a SKU number, a description for the product, uh, product type, image URL, URL, folder, if, you're, if you've got a folder structure for your product library, uh, enter a price, and then if your HubSpot portal is set up for multiple currencies, you can have different prices for different currencies, as well as the term. So we'll just have a $10 product one here, we'll just have one time billing frequency, but you've got different options here for monthly, annually, etc. So we will save product one here. And you can see we've got it listed right here. So creating products is super easy. And if you've got a lot of them, you can also import them by going to actions and import. It'll walk you through the same import wizard that you might be used to from importing contacts, companies, deals, any other imports you've done. So pretty easy there if you've got all your products stored in a CSV or Excel file as well. But once you have your products stored is where they start to get really exciting. So let's walk over to a deal. And let's create a new deal here. Just call this new deal. Create it. Now inside of your deal on the right hand side, if you scroll down, you can see this line item. So uh, once a product is added to a deal, it's called a line item, but it still pulls from that same product library. So you can click add and it's gonna pop up with this screen here. So you can see you can create a custom line item or you can select it from that product library. So in this case, we're gonna select from product library. We're gonna look for that product one we just created. You can also search if you've got a lot of products in here. We're just gonna add this one. And you can see it populates with all the details that we saved in our product library. If we wanted to edit it, we could. I'm just go to actions, edit, and you can edit it here. It will only edit the line item that's on this deal, so you don't have to worry about affecting the uh, products that may be added in the future. But we can change any of the details. We can also enter a discount. So let's say we wanna take $5 off uh, for this particular deal. We can do that and you can see it adjusts down here. So once you've got your products added to a deal, you can click save. And it's going to ask if you'd like to update your deal amount. So you can start to see how this starts to make things easier. You can add products to your deal uh, and based on the total of those products, it'll actually update that amount field on the deal so that your deal amounts are accurate and your forecasting that you're doing based on those deals, um, deal amounts are accurate. So we're gonna update the deal amount, go back to our deal and you can see that that amount has been updated to $5. We're not gonna to get too far into the quotes tool today, but the other thing that's really nice is you can create a quote from this deal, and that quote is gonna show all of your line items that you've added or your products that you've added as line items to that deal. So again, integrates with that quotes tool. You can start to see how it uh, works together to make things a lot easier for you or your salespeople. In addition to adding it to deals, there's a couple other cool things you can do with products. So I'm gonna jump back over to the properties setting. So you saw that we had kind of a form that we saw when we added a product. You can actually change what properties are stored for products and what that form looks like. So to do that, we're gonna to go to properties, change this drop down to products. And just like you may be familiar with if you've edited properties for other object types, you can create properties here or edit properties that exist. 
This is just gonna go on our product object type. We can select a group. So let's say we've got a, a field that we wanna add around the term, for example. Label it, just call it test for our purposes. Select a field type, so you've got all those options available to you. So this would be a multi-line text and create it. And now this is available to us to store as information about any products that we add. The other really cool thing that you can do with products if you have HubSpot payment set up is create a payments link. So we're gonna jump back into our products object here. And we've got this second tab of payment links. So in payment links, we can create a link, select from our product library, hit next, enter any link details here. So name it for your internal purposes, have it create a new deal anytime somebody buys using that payment link and control what state or what pipeline and stage that deal goes in any extra content you want to show up on your checkout page, any questions you want to ask for people when they check out, accepted form of payments, whether you want to collect their billing address, and what you want them to do upon successful checkout. So we'll hit next here. And so this is what people will see when they visit that link. So let's just create it and show you. So we've got this product one payment link. And I'm gonna open the link in a new tab here. So what you can do is you can add this link to emails, to a uh, page on your website. And when people click on it, they'll be taken straight to this checkout page where they can see the product that you've associated with the link, enter any of those questions that you customized for the checkout form, enter their payment information and pay. So you get your money, creates the deal, customer gets the product, it's a win-win for everybody, makes things a lot easier. And I think that we'll actually see a lot more come from HubSpot with products in the future. It's a pretty new tool and already you can see how well it's integrated with the other tools and how they're using it to make things easier for both your salespeople and your customers. And I won't be surprised if we don't see even more come out of this products feature from HubSpot in the future. That's all there is to it for HubSpot products. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more HubSpot tips, tricks, and how to's. And make sure you jump down to the description to sign up for the HubSpot Hacks newsletter. See you next time.